Welcome back, everybody. Well, as August quickly comes to a close, we couldn't send you off without our latest edition of Cocktail of the Month. And here to show us another fabulous recipe is our friend Brent Kinnemer with All Shook Up. Brent, welcome back. You've had a busy summer so far, I hear. Yes, ma'am. Yes, well, we love your cocktail business on the go. You've got weddings coming up, other special events, which we'll talk more about your service momentarily. But first, we're making a Bellini this morning. How are we going about that? This looks great. Yeah, awesome. So Bellinis are one of my favorite summer cocktails. Everybody loves to enjoy a mimosa. Bellinis are a little bit more complicated to make, but once you start looking at the ingredients and the recipes they're really easy once you understand how to make them really delicious okay. it's a two ingredient cocktail all we've got is white peaches now that's the important part they've got to be white peaches yellow peaches will work in a pinch but they're just not the same okay the white peaches are more floral need a more certain crisp. consistency of our, of our white peach how can we yeah so a good when you're peach? looking for a white peach you want one that's going to have some give to it when you pick it up and you start pressing into it okay. if they're not as if they're not ripe they're not going to cook well so what you want to do to make the peach puree is once you've got your peaches you dice them up peel them place them in a pot with sugar and a little bit of water once okay. you've simmered them for a couple minutes they reach the syrupy consistency okay right and it's pretty easy to make your puree from there we're just going to take it add it to a blender so sugar and water you said yeah you do just uh, about the same amount of sugar as the weight of the peaches so one fresh oh. peach weighs about 200 grams 200 grams of sugar in your pot All splash right. of water we throw it in the blender and then we just mix it up to make sure it's a puree. Blend right? it up. I'm not gonna run this guy all the way through, but we're gonna blend it for quite a few seconds, make okay. sure it's a smooth consistency, and then you're gonna toss this into the fridge to make sure it's chilled and ready to go. Now I've got a couple of them right here. If you don't have a fancy bottle to store it in, you can always stick it in the mason jar. Good old jar. We're in we'll Alabama, everybody's got a mason jar. That is true. So we've left it in the fridge. Do you recommend a certain length of time in the fridge or just, just a little Just however long it takes to get chilled. Okay. Yeah, so we're next up, we're gonna grab some jiggers, make sure that we measure right. everything next. And our coops have gotta be chilled. So these have been sitting in the freezer. They are chilled, nice and cold. That's important yes. too, because there's no ice going in these ingredients. We love a good chilled glass. All so right, we're gonna so do about an ounce and a half. Yep, okay. we're gonna fill it up to about an ounce and a half into the end of the coop. All right, next up is our Prosecco. We're gonna use Prosecco specifically. This is an Italian cocktail. It was created about 75 years ago oh, in Venice uh, at the famed Harry's Bar. It's now a historical landmark in Italy. We so love the fun Venice, facts, Brent. Make sure you go. I did not realize that at all. Okay, so, so this fun is our little Prosecco. trick. We lay our Prosecco slightly on the side, we grab our tab, and we're just gonna spin this bottle three times. One, two, three. Oh, what does that do? And now the tab, now it's open. Instead of sitting here <gasps> trying to fiddle with it, now, oh. most people will take this cage off and then fight with their cork. I leave the cage on to grip it and then just an easy pull. Oh, right off. that was seamless, Brent. You would think, of course, he does this for a living. We would think nothing less. That you was first. fabulous. All right, so we're just kind of We're going to do about off. three ounces in there. Now, we're going to start slow okay. with our pour. I'm not as good because as you. Because this is going to fizz up pretty well. Okay, yeah, we do like busy. As we yeah. do this over the puree, what else? You said you can use peach puree for a number of different things. You can. So you can add a bunch of different spices to your puree if you want and use it for a bunch of different syrups. Throw some cinnamon in there and a little bit of vanilla. You've got a great drink for, uh, or a great syrup for a whiskey sour. Add some cardamom to it. It's a great syrup for a margarita mix, anything like that. So this is one of my favorite summer ingredients to add to a bunch of different cocktails. We love it. So we're just going to top busy. that off. We get a nice little foam over the top of the drink. We're gonna do a gentle stir to make sure that the puree combines, and then okay. we're just gonna throw a fresh also, white peach slice that's on pink. there. I've said it before, when it's just a fun pink color, we're just ready. And I'm oh, hoping it's that it's our pink. September yeah. cocktail. You can sit outside, or August rather, as we kind of head into September. We're gonna dress it up with some garnish here. Yep. You've sliced peach. What do we got over there? Some you can throw some rosemary, rosemary on top to add some more color to the drink if you want. Oh, we're we just gonna peel some of this print. off here. This is the fun part. I love the, the decorating. Yeah. And here it is. So oh. now. Beautiful. There we go. Cheers, Britt. You are so fabulous at what you do. Thank you Thank so, you, so much. And before I let you go again, All Shook Up, tell us a little bit about your business, where people can book you, and how that process works. Yeah, we're All Shook Up Bar and Beverage Catering. We're a craft cocktail company that specializes in fresh ingredients and professional hospitality, and we love to serve people who celebrate. Reach out to us on any of our Instagram channels or Facebook at All Shook Up Catering, or reach out to me directly at Brent at AllShookUpCatering.com. Awesome, and get it done soon. You said you got 17 weddings just in October. And October alone, yeah. So book them now. Brett, my friend, yeah. thank you again so much. Thank that you is guys. fantastic.